Hello everyone, this is Seth with PageMaker, and today I am going to be creating a lead generation page from scratch in our mobile first editor. The vertical I'll be focusing on is spas. A lot of you have been writing in asking me to create a landing page for a spa from scratch, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on create new and create that page for the spa. Now, when I jump into the editor, I'm not going to use a template. This will be built from scratch using our pre-made module. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is obviously add the header. And I already have one in mind because I'm going to have a countdown offer. So for this spa deal, we're going to be offering discounts off of uh, services. Awesome. Okay. And then the next thing. I'm going to want to find a feature section. Cool. I like this because there's a countdown. I can put a nice image and I can explain the offer. And then I want to have an announcement bar, a cool little way to um, shout out the location. And you'll see it all come together. I'm going to put another one of these modules, the baker, because I'm going to have two offers that are going to be rotating. Okay. Awesome. So this is looking good. And remember the best way that I truly do believe for you to optimize your entire workflow is before you jump onto PageMaker. Um, it doesn't matter if you're building for lead gen or if you're building for e-com, you should have your sections written down on a piece of paper. That way you could first build the structure and then focus on the details inside each module. It saves you a lot of time. It provides you with structure and it's a great way to build. So that's what I do. I always write down my uh, sections on a piece of paper and then I'll go to the modules and here I'll be able to find um, each category. So I know I have that, have a header, a hero and so forth. So if you're using PageMaker from scratch, which I see a lot of you do, it's better to have that structure in place. There is a, I'm trying to find a specific module. Just give me some time here. Okay, let me get rid of this. Yes, I like this. Okay. Now what I'm doing here is it's it's all about the call to actions. This is gonna be a landing page that'll be used on top of the spa's website. So this is not gonna be a home page, it's gonna be a landing page. The spa is gonna to wanna to generate more traffic and they'll usually hook up with an agency or a freelancer that does their media buying and controls all of their landing page creation. So this would be a landing page perfect for generating uh, those booked appointments. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be focusing on, getting people to book online with this landing page. Okay, the next thing is I'm gonna to have to explain the services. So let me look here for that. Oops, keyboard went a bit crazy. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna to wanna to build that social proof. Maybe put an Instagram grid. And I know if you go here, you can find it as well, but because I'm co-founder of HMaker, I know everything by name, so I'm just gonna type it in. And then lastly, we can put in a footer. So the way it's gonna work is, it's gonna be a countdown timer explaining the promotion. And then here, we're going to have our first offer followed by a call out. Our second offer, you can book online, call us by phone. These are all of our services, social proof. And then lastly, I'm gonna have is a footer. Sweet. Okay, so let's start from the top. I already have a logo that I can use, so you have to bear with me. It's probably a bit too small, so we're gonna have to resize that. I think just a bit bigger. Beautiful, okay. So what I'm gonna say is promotion ends in, and 
I'm gonna change this background color because this blue doesn't really go with the spa. So I'm gonna change this background color to a to a cherry pink. I actually really like that. Let me just fix this text. Okay, awesome. Now, if you're wondering where do I find all of these images, I go on to Unsplash. So I've said it before, if you're using Unsplash, it's great. You could find millions of high quality images that will provide you with some good content to put onto your landing pages. So definitely check it out. Okay, I'm gonna go with this indigo for the button. And again, this will be the entire um, call to action. It's gonna be book online. It's, we want people to book online. So these will be the lead magnets and then all call to actions will go to like a Canly page where they'll be able to, to select their service. If it's a massage, if it's a facial, but everything is gonna be book online or book by phone. And you can see what I'm doing here. I don't really care too much about the images and whatnot. I just wanna get the structure down right and get everything absolutely perfect. Okay, now let's focus on this section. This module here. Okay, I like that. No, we, or maybe. Trying to think of a color code that can work. Okay, you know what? It's better maybe if we do this one indigo, because I think that would look really cool. So let's do that. We'll um, have it indigo 600. I think that'd be cool. Awesome. 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 And what we're going to want to say is we're going to want to have strong copywriting. So the idea here is that um, you want to give something away, offer a discount. So just for the sake of this offer, we're, we're going to say get a free organic coffee face mask. So get a free, you know, get a relaxing and fresh uh, face mask when you book any of our services hurry limited time offer and then for here i'm going to want to do the reverse which is going to be the pink we did the pink 600. what do we got here just to make sure pink 800. We can Okay, I like the darker on top. Awesome. Now we're gonna find an image. Cool. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is, because we're going straight into the offer, we don't have your conventional like homepage where you can put a phone number and a um, address. What we're gonna do is we're gonna play around with it. And here, we are going to have the address, but we're gonna make it cooler than that. Maybe we'll add that icon um, you know, that can say something cool. So come say hello at 21 Elm Street, Toronto. And then here with this wave, with this icon, I'll look for something waving. I'll get this, I'll throw it on here. So as people scroll down, they know exactly where it is. Can I make this like, yeah, I like that. Now, what color? I'm trying to think what color I could do here. I think I'll go with a dark indigo, a really dark indigo. And then here, we'll go with that pink. Okay. I like this, I like this. white so the idea is whenever they click on book online we're going to want to take them to a calendar page and that page is going to have 
all the services and give them the ability to book online without speaking to anyone. But just in case they're not into um, booking online, we'll also have the ability for them to call in and we will fix that up right after this. Okay, now for this one, we could say $50 off something like that. Okay. And then here for the image. And I got all these images from Unsplash. And the cool thing about it is there's collection. So these images are all the same person. So it, it really ties everything into the page. Now, this is another important thing is I'm going to want to uh, give the opportunity to book online again, but also for some people that may not want to book online, they may want to uh, call in. So first, let me just figure this out. This is literally a hyper aggressive click through page. We want people on from mobile who land on here to skim through and get them to book as, as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Okay. And here we're going to say book by phone. We're going to put the phone number here. Okay. And this used to be my old phone number guys back in the day, like when I was like 15 years old, but I don't think it works anymore. Okay, so book by phone, and then we could even make that actually, it might make sense to also make that uh, clickable. So whenever someone clicks on that, we don't want to waste a single opportunity. You know, we want to make sure that we have everything good to go. And then of course, um, here we have the opening hours underneath, which are going to be very cool. So there you go, this is, all, this is an opportunity for us to make sure we can relate to their comfortness. Some people don't always want to uh, book online. They want to hear a human voice. So that'll ensure that we don't miss a single thing. Now, your body in our hands. That is what we're going to go with. We're going to make this So this will be the services. And what we're going to want to say is we do massages, facials, and then of course, meditation. It's one of those wellness spots. Now we got to go find these icons. So I'm going to head over here. I'm going to go to massage. I'm going to make sure that group editing is not highlighted or it'll change all. Here, I could just type in face. I'll try and find a female face. Cool. How simple is that? No more uploading, going to flat icon. This library is never ending. And here, we're gonna, there has to be a meditating person. Oh, I saw it. Right, here we go. Sweet. And then once I finish with the mobile and show you, we'll then go into the desktop just to kind of do more of the fine details like the colors and the branding. Okay, so here we go. So from the bottom to the top, that might look a bit too big. Yeah, it looks crazy. What are you doing? Cool. We have the countdown timer explaining the promotion. We have the first offer, we have the second offer. Um, and then from here, you can book online, you can book by phone. You explain the services. We have the Insta feed and then there. Okay, now let's go more. This should not be in capitals. That's why it looked weird. Okay, cool. Okay, book online. Now what I like is to be consistent with all this text here. So that Indigo 900, and then 
We'll also go with indigo, but we'll just go lighter just to show that difference. So whatever we've been doing by 600. And then here, we're always gonna have that those same button colors. So we're gonna change those background colors to indigo 600. Cool, book online, book by phone. I'm just gonna balance the line so it looks a bit more cleaner. Okay, here we're gonna be going. Okay, now, what am I gonna to wanna to do for these icons? I apologize if you guys hear slack in the background. I'll try to edit that out if possible. So for these icons, I'm just thinking what would be the best way for me to do them? I think I'll put them in that pink. And this we'll put back into our indigo. Okay, sweet. Again, this is gonna be I want to get rid of this follow us button. It's not important. We don't need it. So for a lot of you asking, how do I get rid of um, an element in a module? I will show you right now. When you're on the module and you click on any element, it will highlight here. You want to just click on this sign here just to remove the button and then you get fixed the padding. And then here, I'm going to want to get that pink 600 and then change the logo. And then here we're going to put a background image, but we're going to fix it. Okay, sweet. All right, let's go check this out. I don't know how long it's been, but I'm wrecking 10, 15 minutes. And this is my landing page. Oop, let's make that smaller. Um, perfect. And then we'll get that background on that dark indigo. Sweet. Beautiful. Okay. Let's save this. Let's look at it on desktop. Let's just save this, see how it looks like, and then I'll go and edit whatever is left remaining. Okay, sweet. So I'll also have to check this to 600. Now, these images. Do we want... I want to give them more substance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shadow for, I'm going to add a shadow to the images just by clicking on them, hitting them up at four. And I think the radius, I'd like to cut the corners. So I'll go onto here and I'll put it to nine. And then again, nine. Cool. Same thing here. I'll change the radius just by dragging it over. Sweet. Now, the buttons have to also have some type of, um, that's what I'm trying to say. They have to be round. So I like, I'm gonna make them all round. Radius, that's what I'm looking for. Next, we have these little buttons. 
radius there you are okay next we have this button and we're just gonna do the same thing so it's consistent nice so you could book online or book by phone maybe change this color As you're scrolling down on mobile, it'll look better that way. All right, all right, all right. So now we have that finished. I think the one thing we should do is change that font. I'm thinking about popping something that's feminine, something round and nice. So I will now change the font. So for a lot of you asking, how do you change the font and the colors, what you're gonna wanna do is head over to settings and here you can see by clicking on fonts, you can change, you have hundreds and hundreds of fonts to choose from. Also in the settings, you can change your colors. So these are the colors that preload on your um, palette. So if you're a brand or you work, or you like specific colors, you could preload your palette. So then whenever you are changing elements, you have all the colors that are available for you, as well as custom CSS, JavaScript and plugins. So this plugin is gonna be the drawer where we're gonna continuously be adding on-page integrations like the Facebook Pixel, Google Analytics, Snapchat Pixel, and so forth. And of course, you also have change, um, the change template. So for this, let's just go back into fonts and find a pop-in, like a thick pop-ins. Let's see if we can get bold 800, I think would look cool. Okay, I'm gonna save it. It'll take some time to preload. And then from there, we'll uh, be able to have a better view of the landing page. Okay, it's just about finished loading. I'm gonna open it up on desktop to give you a better view. And we are going to say, okay, cool. We want this to be in Poppins for sure. This one to also be in Poppins. Okay, sweet. Um, now, the important thing is let's change this up again. Get a free, oops, a free organic face mask. Okay, so the free organic gave, let's save that and then we'll view it outside and see what that looks like. Cool. So this is the lead generation landing page. I did this very quickly just to show you how to build in mobile first from scratch, but this is a great looking landing page. It's all about click through rate, getting people to either book online or make a phone call. And there's so many different things you could do after that book online. You could send them to a website. You could send them to your appointment page. The idea here is you want them to, to take action quickly with your offers. If you have any questions about how to perform better with the mobile first editor or anything that I've just done, please feel free to send an email or ask us on Facebook. I enjoy making these videos and I wanna know what else you wanna see so I could help you with your success on PageMaker. Thank you for taking the time and I will be back again shortly with another video. Have a great one.